The man said he had lots of food. There's gotta be something left. I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. I guess he slept here. It's dead. Man, and I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. Damn. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. You understand, right? The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there, you... Feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down just for a second, okay? You look like an idiot. Just climb the thing. Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm Us. good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing.
Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks... great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm-mm-mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm-hmm. 
Cousin Jared's Concert, October 13th, 1998. Reminds me of school. I haven't seen one of these since. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean... How can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. We're gonna get you something soon. Can I? She's gonna be a runner. It's not his. How do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and, and then... If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I 
can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. What a funny little guy. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. It's kind of our little war. When is Matthew coming back? He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. I haven't noticed. Oh, well... Let me know if you do. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. 
I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice, too, till they bite your damn arm off. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow, and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. What? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine.
Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? We're going to leave in the morning. No, no, you got to stay. We have to keep moving. Clementine, in this world, you don't have to do anything. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change them. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize, and to use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking man. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clementine. There's almost nothing you can tell me that will surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. Safe. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Ken. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know. Right, Clem? Walt, how much damage can this poor woman do? It's too dangerous. We can't let her in. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. I won't say anything. Okay, 
Okay, good. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? Nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. It's, it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. It's gone. like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier or something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? We didn't do anything. Where'd you get the knife then? We found it in the shack. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers who don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? He's... he's like everyone else. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to get out of here. This world is hell. People like Matthew aren't coming back. This is it, and now he's gone! What did you do? Did you hurt him? Did you hurt Matthew? do anything, right? Walt, what's going on? The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell!
anyone know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us! Too. Oh! 
Fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Be okay. Oh. Oh. Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. Alvin, Luke, the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. We start shooting and people are gonna die on both sides. Ah! Ah! Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him. Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. Don't look, Swizzy. Don't look. Dad! I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. Oh. I never did this. Oh. Hurry! Let's see if I can get your attention. Ah!
Man, now I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Kimmy, over there! up all night. Sarita! We're coming out! Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. Alright, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Thank you. 